Hello everyone, it's Douglas E. Welch with another container garden update. I think this is going to be the first update when I don't have a whole lot to say. The containers have kind of settled down. As you can see here, the butter lettuce is uh, going pretty well. I think we should be able to get a nice harvest out of here before the heat of the summer arrives. It's about 78 here today in Los Angeles, so the heat is already kind of with us. Uh, it's supposed to cool down a little bit in the uh, next few days, but this time of year you can never tell when the rains will end and it's time to start heating up again. So here you see a nice little tasty strawberry that I'm going to pull right off of there and eat as soon as I can before the squirrels get it. It's a tiny little thing, but I've, in the uh, few that I've tasted so far, they've all been quite tasty, so we'll grab that one really quickly. This plant is naturalized in the garden bed, and that's what I plan on doing with all the strawberries, is eventually move them out of the pots and let them put their runners down to the ground and let them start growing actually in the soil in this bed. And here you see the basil plant that we put in um, last week uh, as part of our garden budget trip out to the garden center. It's uh, looking like it's settling in nicely. You can also see the worm castings that I uh, laid on top. Uh, these pots need to be watered. I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with the video today. Um, but hopefully that'll bring some more nutrients into the soil and perk things up a little bit. It actually sort of, you know, anecdotally looks like it has perked things up a little bit. So we'll keep uh, doing that on a regular basis. Every so often we'll add some more worm castings to the top just to keep rejuvenating the containers. Now it might be a little hard to see, but right here you can see a little red growth and this is a little experiment based on something I'd seen on Pinterest, of course, and that is uh, I took the ends, the root ends, off some artisanal lettuce that we had for lunch the other day and it looked pretty healthy so I, I trimmed the root end of it a little bit. I took the leaves off from my salad for my lunch and I simply pushed it down into this bed and you know what? Darn if it doesn't look like it's actually starting to grow new leaves. So. Again, Again, a uh, frugal gardener type of uh, application here, but we'll see if this grows up because this is a leaf lettuce and we should be able to cut and come again on it if it does come up. So uh, kind of happy to see that. I put two others in two of the other pots, but they don't seem to have taken quite as well as this one. And that's about it for this container garden update. Now you may laugh a little bit, but as the heat of the summer uh, starts to come upon us, you may see me trading out some of the vegetables here for flowers. Um, it's difficult to grow veg here during the summer months because things just tend to bolt so quickly in the high heat. But uh, maybe some flowers, uh, maybe from seed or maybe from transplants, we'll put in here to kind of hold the space until we get to fall again and can start planting some more veg in this area.